Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is an Advertising Age special report. Diversity in the ad industry is now a big issue, and doing this story about it made me think once again about Eddie Murphy. Now, back in the early 90s, he made a movie that inspired a lot of African American kids, including me, to think about careers in the media and advertising business. A short time ago, I ran into Lincoln Stevens of Dallas, Texas, and he also has an Eddie Murphy story to tell, but his story is a little bit more dramatic than mine. After he graduated from the University of Missouri at Columbia, Stevens worked for five years as an ad agency account executive. But he couldn't get the diversity issue off of his mind, and he took a very risky leap. We thought the best way to tell you his story was in his own words. My background is in account management. I've worked for advertising agencies such as Tracy Locke, the Martin Retail Group, and Carol H. Williams Advertising. Um, out of those three ad agencies, I've worked on brands such as Cadillac, Hummer, Chevrolet, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Frito-Lay, and a little bit of new business as well. In the African American community and really other communities, um, there, there is not a great deal of knowledge or exposure to the advertising industry. One of the first places that I was exposed to the advertising industry was through a movie called Boomerang. Um, it was 1992, Eddie Murphy played a character named Marcus Graham, and that was the first person that I had ever seen, specifically of color as well, um, in the advertising industry, and it sort of inspired me and other people in our generation um, to think about careers in advertising. The movie depicted Eddie Murphy playing a character that he was a hotshot advertising executive, he was working on uh, a women's beauty brand, and sort of the, the plot line was such that he was also a little bit of a womanizer. He liked to have a little bit of fun, but he also had a responsibility that he, that he demonstrated in terms of making sure that the creative that was developed for the brand that he worked on didn't um, sort of disrespect the women that it was targeted towards. By the end of the movie, he sort of found his way, realized that uh, womanizing wasn't the way, and he actually ended up um, doing some mentorship for kids in a youth program. Hello, Chicago! Last year in November, um, it was the day after the election. Um, I was in Chicago, I had just finished running a campaign for Rock the Vote, and I was sitting on my balcony with some friends, and we all were sitting in this moment of time saying, what will you do to create change? What will you do individually now that we are starting um, sort of uh, a shift in our country, in our, in our history? What will each of us individually do? And so at that moment, I sort of had an epiphany and said, I've been thinking about developing and launching the Marcus Graham Project. Now it's time. I immediately quit my job. I moved. I left a lot of things in Chicago, gave some things away, and I moved back to Dallas so that I can concentrate and focus on developing an infrastructure and a pipeline so that there are other people that can see that it is possible to be in this business. The pilot program that we launched this summer was an 11 week long boot camp in which we took seven young men and we gave them the challenge of creating uh, marketing concepts and doing research around the topic of green as that's very popular right now. So they developed a pop-up retail store concept as well as viral videos that will be airing on WFA, which is Channel 8. Um, ABC in Dallas, their um, Project Green website. Um, the, the purpose of the boot camp was to make sure that we effectively exposed and trained um, the individuals that were inducted into the program. We sent them on tours to various agencies including Tracy Locke, the Richards Group, Imaginuity and other agencies in Dallas and made sure that they were connected with senior level executives that were able to give them an idea of what it takes not only to be in the business but some of the trends that will make them successful um, moving forward. So our lab for the entire summer was a 1,200 square foot loft in the old Sears building. It's a development in Dallas called the South Side on Lamar, um, which was actually one of the clients for the guys um, during the summer as well. Um, that building is full of a lot of creative energy. It has a lot of history in it as well. Um, and so it was the perfect place for these individuals to uh, work day and night, truly, 
um, to finish and complete their project. It was also the location where they launched um, their pop-up retail store concept, which we will actually be developing into an actual um, retail store in the same space. We wanted to make sure that we chose individuals that had a surface level of understanding uh, about the business. Their portfolios weren't extremely um, developed um, by any stretch of the imagination, but we wanted to make sure that we put forth a challenge to them that uh, made them stretch their creative um, or their strategic thinking um, to the highest degree. In the creation of some of the viral videos, there were a couple of people that were extremely helpful in guiding them through this process. Uh, one of them, Bob Robinson, who um, is one of the senior executives at, at a digital agency called Imaginuity in Dallas, was extremely helpful in helping them think through, okay, you started with um, a commercial that you wanted to be a minute and a half. Your assignment is to get it to 10 seconds and for it to convey a specific message. So he was extremely helpful in guiding them through how to create a strong message in 10 seconds. Um, another individual um, was Jim Glass that was w at WFA. He was actually their client. He also helped them through the process of how they will communicate the message that WFA wanted to communicate about going green. Well, we made sure that we selected a group of individuals that were of varying ages. We had some that were out out of college that were looking for work. Um, some of the immediate return that we've seen on what we were able to train them on is that there was one individual that has now been selected um, to work on some viral videos for one of the agencies that was a mentoring agency um, called Culture Lab. And one of their clients, EDS Credit Union, has pegged this young man to create viral videos that, for um, a campaign that they're running um, in the city of Dallas. Uh, another one of the individuals in the boot camp also received some freelance work from a, from a production studio called Talk Rock Productions. They developed a 3D model for a client that they were working on that just last week, um, that, that client was incredibly amazed at the work that they've done and, and want some more. So the immediate return has been um, not only exposing them to careers, but exposing um, the agencies to individuals that are super talented, that can get the work done, as we always say, um, in budget and on time um, and to the highest level of quality. The amount of support that we um, got from, from local um, and, and community-based organizations and helping out where they can in, in making sure that um, the project for the summer ran smoothly um, was amazing. It was the perfect place for me. Dallas is my hometown. And um, as the tagline of the city of Dallas currently goes, it's a place um, where we think big and we live large. So thinking big for um, our program this summer was definitely a component of it, and uh, it was definitely the perfect place. And that's it for this Ad Age Report. Thanks so much for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Agent New York.